Hello Malawi, how are you? My name is Martha Tokozani Chikuni and I am the head of media marketing at the State House, Kamuzu Palace. Um, a lot of people don't really understand what that means, so I'm going to take this opportunity to explain uh, what it is because it's a new, totally new uh, type of uh, position uh, that, that has never had, we've never had that position at the State House before. And so my job primarily is to promote the president using the various platforms. Um, so I use social media, I use WhatsApp, I use Facebook, I use Instagram, I use Twitter, um, and I use television, and I use radio, uh, and I use outdoor media, billboards and things like that. So my job is to basically promote the president in the most positive way using all those platforms and that's what that's what it, it means um, I my journey or I should say my journey to where I am now um, let me take you back um, you know many years ago uh, particularly 1999 on April 1st um, on April Fool's Day <laughs> April 1st um, we opened television Malawi as many of you know uh, what happened is that um, we had been a pro we had a pro it was a project from about 1996 1997 um, and the, pr the pioneers or the first group of people that um, worked at television Malawi uh, were selected through auditions in Blantyre and uh, we were sent to Namibia Namibian Broadcasting Corporation where we were trained uh, for a few months on the, in the various uh, fields that uh, they identified would be strong in. So for me, I was trained in uh, the area of presentation, um, but also I did uh, graphic design and reporting. So three areas. Um, and so when we returned, we were not ready, or, or Malawi, the government was not ready to launch the station yet, and uh, we continued training. Uh, we trained with the Thompson Foundation in the UK, we trained um, with UNICEF, we trained with uh, UNDP. There were many, many programs that uh, were designed to train us to get us ready for television. And um, that was one of the most exciting times, actually, of my life, because I got to learn uh, all about electronic news gathering. I got to learn how to, you know, take photographs. I got to learn how to use a camera. It, it, it was all around production. Um, some of us got to learn how to edit programs. And so that was very exciting. Um, and so maybe fast forward. So April 1st, we launched the station. Um, and uh, we were, I worked there for, um, I would say, two years, basically. Um, because what happened is uh, in March of 2001, I was appointed to work at the Malawi Embassy in Washington, D.C. Um, and so I was the second secretary there uh, for a few years and then I was promoted to first secretary. My area of concentration at the embassy was the area of trade, uh, investment and uh, publicity. Uh, PR, which is uh, what I really love, my passion. Um, I love marketing, I love PR. Um, and so, fast forward that, I was there for uh, 10 years uh, in Washington. Um, and then 2011, on July 20th, um, I came back to Malawi and um, I uh, worked uh, with Dr. Joyce Banda uh, and she later became president as you all know um, in April of 2012 um, and she appointed me as uh, her special assistant um, and I was primarily handling uh, the also the PR issues for for the president uh, Dr. Joyce Banda 
so her Facebook page and you know promoting her on social media but also I did a lot of work with uh, her safe motherhood program so I traveled quite a lot across the country crisscrossing the country working with chiefs um, I worked very closely with senior chief Kwataine of Mcheo we went to many many places and and trained uh, uh, chiefs to talk to people about uh, the the um, safe motherhood issues. Uh, we discouraged uh, Azamba from, you know, Kumaa Berikesa Azmai. We made sure Kuti Azmai Ajat is tika enda nao, tika maa foto kuzera, Kuti, you know, Azmai akakala, Kuti wasaba ngono kubeleka, azibita kujipatala. Ndizmeti mapanga push ntari mene yondi senior chief kwa taini. And, uh, Tinafika even kurumpi, tinafika kuchitipa, tinafika, tingo nena uti nafika pena pali mwonse. Ma chiefs onse ambili, ndi maadziwa, and ndi nagwe anawo nshido imene yoyo. And that was very exciting time for me as well. So that was two years, and then in 2014, um, I, you know, I obviously, uh, I wasn't sure now, you know, what to do because uh, we had now a new administration. I was not working with the new administration. Um, I was out of job and I was thinking, you know, what do I do? Do I head back out of Malawi and that kind of thing? It was a little bit confusing, but because I had been out of Malawi for so long, having grown up also outside Malawi because my father, uh, a veteran broad broadcaster, Lucius uh, Chikuni, um, was a diplomat as well. So I had spent, you know, I, I, the better part of 20, 22 years or 23 years of my life outside Malawi. And I, you know, I was now at that point where I said, I think I need to be here for a little while. I need to lay a foundation. And my father encouraged me. He said, you know, Malawi is, you know, you can, you can also make it here. You can look for opportunities. You can do business. You can set up a business. And so at that point, uh, with his encouragement, with my dad's encouragement, I, um, I actually stayed and um, was in Blantar um, and um, had a small advertising and marketing company. And uh, I did a lot of work in just promoting different businesses. Um, and because I was very good with social media and I'm you know, very active on Facebook, um, I was able to network and meet a lot of people. So I have a lot of friends. Um, actually, I, I reached the max of uh, friends on my Facebook page, 5,000. I reached that maximum probably 10 years ago. So, uh, and now I just have a lot of people following me on my page, on my Facebook page. Uh, but um, yeah, so basically, um, and you know, it was an exciting time as well. I learned a lot uh, and I also worked and did a lot of work with my sister Marie uh, she has a hot sauce called Marie's hot sauce. It's made from kambuzi peppers. So it's a very good sauce. I think a lot of people know the sauce. So I went into you know, a, a discussion with her to say, why don't I promote the hot sauce? And so that's what I was doing also on, on social media, really promoting the brand. And uh, I believe you know, it, whatever uh, strategies I was using in pushing out the messages about the hot sauce worked because um, I don't think there's anybody even outside Malawi who doesn't know Marie's hot sauce. Uh, it's one of the best. So, and if you haven't tried it, I encourage you to, to get a bottle. You can find it uh, in Chipiku and many, many of the uh, supermarkets do have uh, Marie's hot sauce. So yeah, so fast forward that. Um, I guess around 2017, when uh, I saw that the political situation was you know, changing in this country and people were agitating for change and you know, a lot of people were not happy with uh, you know, whatever you know, the, what the situation was in around 2017, 2016, I made a decision that um, maybe I should also get involved again in, uh, in the change. So um, I had the opportunity to meet uh, Dr. Lazarus Chakwera sometime in 2017, I guess, at his house in Area 9. And um, I was um, very, very impressed with him. His vision um, was very clear for this country. Uh, his, his, you know, just, just the passion he had to say, look, I think I can bring about the change that Malawians want. And um, 
it would be great if we all worked together towards that. And so, yeah, so basically I, have, I had been working with him and uh, the Malawi Congress Party, um, Honorable, uh, the late Honorable Siddiq Mia, uh, his wife Abida, um, and uh, many others, uh, Honorable Nkaka, Honorable Chimwendo, and everyone else. I got to know everybody, and uh, turns out that uh, what I discovered about Malawi Congress Party is that uh, it's such a, you know, a big family, and um, there's really so much love and so much support uh, w with uh, Malawi Congress Party, and I really enjoy uh, the interaction I have with various uh, people uh, within the party, and uh, th that's very exciting. Um, and so uh, that was 2017, 2018, 2019, 2019 the election came, and um, as many of you know, uh, that election was n not, uh, not free, not credible. Uh, and so the courts, you know, through the courts, uh, we were able to um, get uh, the, uh, the nullification of that uh, election uh, because it was not uh, free and fair. And um, uh, another election took place. Uh, so on June 23rd, uh, 2020, uh, Dr. Lazarus McCarthy Chakwera became the sixth president of Malawi and uh, you can imagine the excitement uh, for people like me who had been working with him and the, and the party and various people in the party. We were all very excited. Um, and so in August, uh, that was June 23, in August, August 7th I would say, uh, I was appointed to work with uh, His Excellency, the President, um, at the State House as the head of media marketing. And so that's how I found myself there. Um, and, um, and that's what I'm doing now. And um, I love my job. I'm happy. Um, and um, it's great. Uh, it's a, such a great team of people to work with because everyone is so is able to understand each other and able to help each other and uh, it, there's so much creativity um, you know the communications department at the State House is probably the most exciting uh, communications department uh, on the continent uh, and uh, we have done so well uh, in terms of uh, you know using the various talents that, that are within the department and making sure that we push uh, out the, the messages and, the, and you know, the president's vision and what he wants for this country. So um, it's, 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 it's fantastic. Uh, it's an exciting time for people like us who you know, have worked with, uh, you know, within, within the government system for you know, quite some time. And now we find ourselves with uh, Dr. Chakwera, who, you know, he's, he's co a completely uh, different brand. He's, he's very exciting and very honest and very open, and he's, he's not hiding anything from uh, the people of this country. So it's just very, very exciting that way. And um, I guess, you know, um, my, my, my message to the, the young women out there and uh, the young men out there and, and Malawians is, you know, um, let's you know, let's walk together. This uh, this president is about uh, bringing unity to the people of this country. Uh, this president is about fighting corruption. This president is about uh, serving leadership. This president is about being honest and true to what uh, the promises he ha he made for the people of this country. So, I just wanted to. Uh, encourage everyone that we should walk together and um, I pray that um, you know you all stay blessed and um, if you have any questions as I said our doors are always open the State House is always open um, my email is mchikuni at statehouse.mw if you have any questions anything at all I'd be happy to um, be of uh, service and uh, I look forward to um, more exciting times and uh, just uh, this wonderful journey and uh, you know forging ahead and uh, I look at everything with great positivity and uh, also let's not forget um, you know Kumapempera always uh, 
you know, in there as we do anything. He is the Alpha and Omega and he, he is such uh, a good God and he is always, always faithful. Thank you.